Welcome back everybody to some more Vampire Survivors and today we're going to take a uh, Mortacio and go into the Inverse Gallo Tower to try and get the um, Hyper Tiny Bridge. So yeah, we haven't got the Tiny Bridge yet. Uh, we need this, I believe, as well as getting this to get towards this. So yeah, Mortacio is coming with us. Um, I've done the others, um, and I feel I've been sleeping on a weapon. So let's get Mortacio, and uh, we'll talk about it a bit more as we're going through. So I've done Old Soul and Cavalio. I just got them to level 18 and then backed out. And while I was doing that, I used a weapon that uh, I hardly ever use. And yeah, we will pick it up. Um, so not going to use Wicked Tease. I've been using that to get everything up. Um, we've got Bone here. I'm sure there's one for a Bone. Bone, Bone, Bone. There we go. We do Bone here. Um, and yeah, we're going to pick up the flowers, actually. So I'm going to come over here and pick them up. Uh, yeah, the Celestial Dusting throws a bouncing projectile, cooldown reduced while moving. So I'm going to spend some gold here just to showcase this because, yeah, I've been sleeping on this weapon a hell of a lot. So yeah. Now, I have been using um, Pumarola and Garlic quite heavily for my healing. I've also been using... Um, whips as a healing and they pale into insignificance compared to the healing that the celestial dusting does um don't want any of them so let's re-roll uh duration of weapon effects sure get the axe with that let's get crown because we want levels uh, let's go bone here and this weapon is really good get up to this max level and the healing this thing does is brilliant um, let's go spellbinder again and not only that because it fires out from behind me when I get chased like this um, It uh, hits, and it hits a lot. And it's got a cooldown with moving. And I was running through the um, Moon Golo, because that's where my leveling. It, uh, yeah, it was just literally healing me like crazy. So we're going to tie it in this inverse Gallo Tower. Let's go again. So at the moment, I'm, you know, it, I've got not a lot of healing. But when we get to level 8, we'll showcase that a darn sight better. Let's go bone again. Uh, is there anything on the map to get? Could have picked up the Spellbinder. Uh, that's actually Bibles, what I picked up, Paul. So looks like we're going Bibles at some point. I've got, um because I've got the bone and I've got the special dusting I've got a couple of things that I can move into in terms of the passives or defensive items more passives yeah you can see already it's doing some good damage let's yes yeah, get the king bible then because we want that for the evolution But yeah, the healing this thing does, and it, it on its last one, it talks about um, it can reclaim hearts from defeated enemies. And whew, does it get you some hearts? So off the start, we're just going to farm around here. Let's get the bone again. And I really want to get the celestial dusting up if possible. Could have brought Old Soul in, but because I'd already done him as his challenge, I didn't really fancy bringing him out 
Um, and I've just used him. And um, we need to upgrade more Tosio. Bone. Grab this freeze. So we can farm a little bit here. And look at these bones already. They're just planting around quite nicely. Got an orb there as well. A uh, crown because I need to get to, I think it's level 80. Which is why I wanted to use these characters for it. Or, you know, this type of character for it. Only gets me a re-roll from him. I'm just going to grab this. Let's go... Uh, bone here. And I wouldn't mind actually some movement speed. If I can. So I think that is going to be a useful. Just to keep away from enemies and whatnot. But... Just trying to keep you entertained until we get to that level 8 celestial dusting. Let's get the bone up there, though. And again, off the start, pretty rough because I haven't got that healing. But then even with um, everything but the Puma Roller, I wouldn't get that anyway. So, you know, it's nothing too bad. Grab that health. Got a chest. And again, because it, it's nice. Crown, nice. It's always good. I like the crown. But uh, yeah, with the um, special dusting at level 8, you, you get hearts. And I just want to showcase you how good that is. And it might be my go-to heal, to be honest. Um, not only is it a weapon that heals without needing a um, evolution. Um, I've actually been using these quite a bit as well, but... But we're getting some good farm. Go King Bible. Again, I just want to use these four weapons that we got to get these up. Uh, let's re-roll here. Let's go Crown. So level 23 already. Again, I didn't even notice level 20 slowdown like we normally get. Crazy. But I think we're looking pretty good on this one. Uh, King Bible. Got a chicken if I need it. Now, I was thinking of using the cats, actually, in this one. Because, again, uh, another weapon that I slept on quite badly. But, uh, um, I'm going to go King Bible here. Let's grab this health. Unfortunately, we picked up two bits of health there. but The bones are doing some good work for me. Uh, let's go... Santa Water. Could have picked up spinach there, but I didn't. Let's grab this. Uh, Santa Water. Again, because they're shooting behind me, where they're chasing me, they get hit by all of this stuff. So I think, you know, as a weapon, it's one I should have used a lot more than I did. Okay, speed, lovely. Now, I do like garlic in terms of the aura that it gives you, and it helps with the knockback and, and all of that stuff, but it sort of becomes insignificant. Uh, let's go Santa Water. But with the crown, with the Santa Water, with the Attractor, I meant not Santa Water. We're looking okay here. Let's just do this. Let's get Santa Water up. Have I got another chicken anywhere? I've got a chest though. There's a chicken coming. Right, let's grab this chest. Not that I've got an evolution, but it just pushes another one up. Level six Bibles, lovely. But we're starting to see the enemies hitting, or well, not hitting, but having more health. Let's 
We're getting to run through the, the Santa water here and the dusting. But when I get this gets to level eight, you'll just see like a wave of hearts just following me. It's just insane. You know, yes, the um it's, uh, so dusting. Yes, the whip um has health stealing stuff on it. Um but it just gives me a bit more flexibility to have some good health steal. And um not have to worry about an evolution which gives me a bit more flexibility in the build that i can do um because i can have a say another passive and like we've got in this one i've got two spare one of the them will be the crown so i'm not going to pick up the um pentagram again that's one i'm not a massive fan of uh okay let's just get enough get towards the upgrade let's just pull this in And again, music is absolutely clapping cheeks here. Let's go, King Bible here. Come on, Celestial Dusting. I say, when I did it in the Moon Golo, I got uh, Celestial Dusting up pretty, pretty early and was mightily, mightily impressed. That's level seven. So I need one more level. Have I got anything ready for an upgrade? Uh, no, I need another Santa Water and I need another King Bible. Hopefully we'll get that very, very soon. Because we're coming up in 10 minutes, so we're coming up on uh, the chest dropping. Um, here we go. Defeated enemies might drop hearts. Ready? Boom, there's one. And you can see the hearts just starting to follow me in. And I'm not going to say you become unkillable because I haven't done an inverse with it before, but there's the Santa water. Lovely. But you can just see, if you look closely, the amount of hearts, there you go, there's like six or seven of them just coming. And it's not an insignificant amount of healing. Uh, let's go Spellbinder here. Should have probably gone to Tractor, but in hindsight... Uh, he's an arcane. Arcana, sorry. Uh, let's go. None of them. What do we fancy as a weapon? Okay, we'll just go Spellbinder on this because it's one we need. I think in Rune Tracer, but I use Rune Tracer a hell of a lot. So, trying to use some weapons that we don't always see. Let's get the King Bible here. So that's sat ready to go. And there's a chest. Not an upgrade, of course, but... But you can just sit here like this and it just... The health and the hearts is just amazing. You can, you can see the amount of hearts just coming in and it's just... I run through something and then it just comes back. Uh, should we go Magic Wand? Yeah. So we get the tome. Um, we'll go Armour. Go magic wand. And I'm just running through the enemies here. And yep, I'm dying. But you can see the health just coming back. It's so good. Just need an upgrade now, really. And this build is set. Fair. But look, look at them hearts. Follow me. Let's go. Magic wand. We're at level 44, so we're halfway there. There is the um, chest that I want, or the enemy that I want. Let's 
just get some more farm. And again, back up again. No boggle. Uh, we've got a candy box here. So let's use this to get um, Rune Tracer. I use Rune Tracer too much. I think Rune Tracer in this level is really, really good because it's got a lot of bouncing. And you just see the hearts coming back. And again, it's... There you go. There's a, an upgrade. What have we got? Okay. Not disappointed at that. Look at them all. And it chucks out so many projectiles. Let's go Room Tracer here. What do I want? Tome. Definitely. But we'll go Rune Tracer here. So I need the Tome. Yeah, it's just... It's made this, so far, pretty simple. Now, luckily with this, we can, you know, we've, we've done all the leveling through characters that we need to do to get all of the um, arcanas and the rerolls and all of that malarkey. Uh, there we go. There's the tome. So we're just going to fire out even more. So what are we looking at? We can pick anything really here. Yeah, just floating around. Let's go Rune Tracer here. Let's just come over here, might as well grab that. Oh, of course, it gives us that. That's just amazing. Uh, area of attack. Area would be good. So, yeah, sure. But it's just flowers everywhere. And the hearts that it brings back is just immense. So, yeah, I've been sleeping on this weapon for a while. That's another Arcana. What have we got? Uh, don't really want that. Don't want that. Duration in and out. Or freeze. The duration. So if we just can get another chest at some point. Have I got any chest on the screen? No, just a chicken. Uh, let's go home. So I want Labora next as an upgrade. Bum bum. There it is. Uh, let's go home. Yeah. I just felt I haven't been in any sort of trouble. There's that one little bit where just after we got the upgrade, we had um, our health going down. Where we, you know, in that sort of period where we weren't massively strong. You know, we're just waiting for a couple of upgrades to come through. Let's go area here. And there's another upgrade. I don't think we've got anything to upgrade yet. No. A thousand gold. Wow. Thank you. Uh, let's go Rune Tracer. So we just need to get to level six, uh, level 80. We'll do that, then we'll go exploring. And then we're going to get the tiny bridge, hopefully. See what that is all about. Uh, let's go Rune Tracer before Magic Wand.
Uh, base area, sure. But yeah, it's so good. Now, it doesn't really fire when you're sat still, so you can't just put this down and, and farm. You have to be moving. Is the only downer, but you know, you can just swing around like this. It does make your eyes hurt while you're doing that, but yeah, been sleeping on that weapon. Definitely. Go magic wand. Level 64. And quite a lot of farm for us here as well. Um, armor, sure. Go tractor, tractor. This means we're getting all of this in. There's just so much coming in. You can just look at the trail of hearts coming in. It is nuts. There's so many of these flowers on the floor. That's the armor. I've got a chest that I missed. No. Armor. There we go. Right. So now at 14 minutes, we're limit break time. So let's always random. And a couple of levels time, we're done. And with the limit break, it's only going to get bigger. Oh, you can do all that you want. just yeah, plow around and with everything we got now we're just an unkillable machine until oh been slowed um yeah unkillable machine until the reaper comes it's so good have i got any chests no but considering this is hard mode of it Celestial dusting has made it quite trivial. Not trivial, and it's not the only weapon that's obviously there. But the healing you get from it is just better than the others. Now we're just walking through. There you go, let's take some damage there, and yeah, it just comes back so quickly. And it does quite a bit of damage as well again let's just run through here try and take some damage get down to half health it's been around for a bit yeah in a matter of two or three seconds we're back up and running it's you know is it as powerful as the whip i don't know but the one thing that this does that the whip doesn't have is it hits everywhere you look look at it do this and it's going everywhere uh, and it doesn't need an evolution. It just needs eight levels. Insane. Right, we're at, we've done the level 80. So do we want to... I don't really even fancy going to get all the other stuff. It just doesn't seem worth it. So we're just going to sit here. I've got a beer next to me, which I'm about to open. Play one-handed. You know, well, you play one-handed anyway, but I don't need to hold the controller. Just spin around for a bit. Let's grab this. There is a Mr. Arun Tracer. Start waiting for the noise. Yep, there it is.
Nice and simple. Yeah, let's open up that beer. Because, you know, why not? And it's always one of those things I always notice that um, because of the fact, you know, there's time taken out when you're choosing stuff off menus and whatnot. You know, some of these are like 40, 45 minutes long. Whereas this will be, you know, what are we, 25 and a half minutes in. We're only lost seven minutes. So we're not getting as many hearts now, I've just noticed. Because I don't think it's killing as many. How's it doing? It's taken quite a few of the um, upgrades as well. Uh, and it's just pinning in that boss. Here the carts come. Simple enemies. Very good. Should probably just sit here like this and womp down this guy. He's actually taken a fair whack of damage. There he is. And that should be a magic wand. It is. Does that keep its upgrades? No, it doesn't. Okay. But yeah. We're just rinsing through these enemies. It is beautiful. And again, because them red ones die really easily, um, you just get the heals back. It's yeah, definitely, definitely food for four, and it's you know potentially it is going to be my heal of choice. Even more gold. Yeah, obviously I, ch I chose this right off the start. I cheated slightly with the um, the market, but you know, I could just bring out old soul and it's you know, it's done. But for a un you know, it's a unique weapon. But yeah, between Rune Tracer and everything. Yeah, nothing is really getting close. And Labora obviously seems to stagger enemies. Not killing that much actually at the moment. I think I've killed an enemy for 20 seconds. But they can't get close. I've killed two enemies since we started to talk about how I haven't killed many enemies. Interesting. But with the build I've got, they're just not even getting close. And this is the actual issue that I had with... Um, trying to do at the end of the world I just didn't have a build strong enough to take enemies out and I've killed nine enemies you know I don't think magic wand is that strong it could just be the level that obviously we're at and um you know, we're not expected to, to kill hundreds upon thousands of enemies. But, yeah, killed 16. Beefy boys. Right, let's take this. What can we get? Area. Listed weapons 
projectiles explode. I don't have any of them, so let's re-roll. Healing, no. No. Don't have any of them. Don't want the attract. Bounce. Is a possible. Don't have any of them. Wow. Okay, we'll go bounce off magic wand, I guess. See how we do now. But that healing's got us to this point where I just have got nothing near me and it seems to when they get hit by them it just holds them in place as well you know it's a uh, it's something that they struggle to um get close to but it's weird that i'm struggling is not is not the word you know look i've just Let's just spin around here. Yeah, you, know, you just stay in one place and they just struggle to do anything. Yeah, interesting. I'm guessing the whip here would probably start coming into its own about now. But you can have early game healing with this early mid game healing and then get the whip once he gets to the points where you're struggling to kill stuff but at this point you know if you're doing a, a proper challenge run you'd be having um the lancet and and stuff done i need to get out of there let's go here just need labora to catch up here I'm going to drop, I think. Yeah. Okay. Inverse is no joke. Having two non-evolved um, weapons. Tough. So, yeah. I found a, a slight issue with the, uh, the weapon that I have been sleeping on. But early game, I think it certainly made up for it. And if I could just kill things a bit easier, that's the other weapons that I've got. I'm surprised that I'm not killing stuff, though. With the Bible, Labora, Rune Tracer. Oh. Let's just take on this crab. Thankfully, no water dude cup. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's starting to go. I had quite oh, there he is. I had quite a few issues actually with my with my voice ever since I uh started recording this basically but it's not the game's fault been wailing on this guy for a minute uh, i'm about to get swarmed so time to move yep game over but there we go let's quit that Fifty-four thousand dead labora yeah 10k celestial dusting 1.4k damage 2.3 million in total. Um, not as good as the bone. Um, so yeah, we've got the inverse. So we've got Hyper Tiny Bridge now. And yeah, we've got another re-roll. Yeah. So between the bone and the celestial dusting, joint together, it's not doing as much as the holy wand. So, yeah, having two of them with types of weapons together, probably not the strongest. And that is a dedicated healing, but it's definitely opened up my eyes for healing, for sure. Um, okay. 
Let us have a look at the unlocks here. I've got 139 of 161 done. I could do that with Backcountry. And then the Chaos Malachite. Unlocks Anima of Mortasio. Hey? I'll just use Mortasio. That's fine. Uh, so we need to see this final fireworks. So I'm guessing that's something to do with the tiny bridge that we've just unlocked, I believe. Uh, let's go power up because we've got another reroll. Uh, any. Oh, yeah, we've got this dude. 293,000. I don't even have enough for him. Wow. But we can start to. Wow, that's a curse and a half, isn't it? Jesus. It's tempted to get this guy out for a, a run. Um, so let's actually take a look here. Wow, he's got Fitio. So if I go Cosmo, have I I've unlocked the tiny bridge? So I think next time, I uh, won't probably do inverse on it. Is there a hyper tiny bridge then, I guess, ladies and gents. So uh, yeah, thank you much everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really help me out. Tiny bridge is up next, probably with Cosmo. So I hope to see you there and uh, see you all in the next one.